What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Gonna hop into Elite, play some mono red painted today. How you guys doing? Um, it's a list I have put together for a while now. I changed a couple cards out of it. I added a copy of Fury instead of Pithy Needle Main, and I cut the Twin Shot Sniper out of the sideboard and added um, what did I add? Another Fury, looks like. Yeah, looks like I did that or, or something like that. But anyway, um, this is a list. It's a card list. So I guess I know some people really. I mean, the build, the, the red build is out now. The red, the reddish the variants thereafter are pretty strong. I mean, not, I'm just saying. Let's. My goal here is to try a build with Karn and work with the snaring bridge. I know that. Um, you know, uh, some I've kind of over the year, over the last year, year or so, I've kind of weaned myself off of ensnaring bridge main deck. I was always big on ensnaring bridge main, um, kind of a lean to for me. Um, kind of an auto win versus Delver a lot of times game one, but uh, because of the power of Fable and the way a lot of the games are getting played, um, and the tokens, um, and the extra mana we have sometimes, I just kind of felt like I, I just I tried it. It took a little while, and the same with two grindstones. I was always a three grindstone guy too. Um, and you know, between like the, the tweaking and the list that come out, Callum, Callum's, uh, you know, was running two grindstones too for a while. And I said, let me, and he, was, and he wasn't really a proponent for a snaring bridge as well for a while. So I was like, let's do it. Let's try it. And I tried it and it's been working well. I'm fine with it. And, but now every now and then when you have a card list like this, you want to hide behind bridge. Um, if you notice there's no lightning bolts main in this deck as well, uh, lightning bolt to me, um, I like Lightning Bolt as kind of like a finisher, but that's at the back end of things. I want to kill Dragon's Race Channelers. I want to kill Collector Roofs and some of the initiative bullshit. But we pick up where the bolts left off in this deck. This is just in my opinion. This is my, you know, from what I gather and what I'm my my playing the deck is by leaving bolts alone, we're picking up cards like Ensnaring Bridge, which is really good against Delver Game 1. Also... Shadow Spear is a great card that can race a Delver deck very well. Um, a card that I've kind of shied away from, just kind of had the, um, you know, a lot of people like the card. I just kind of, you know, I tend to play the deck in a more combo-oriented way. And if I feel like the game's going to a certain place, I'll pivot to, to the tokens. Um, that being said, um, Shadow Spear being in the deck and the way the deck is configured with cards and everything, um, you know, making tokens, like I said, racing a Delver deck, Shadow Spear goes along pretty well, but we do have Bridge. Um, that being said, what else can we talk about? Um, so we have the similar package with the Goblins. We have Icar Wellspring now with Maine. This is a list that, um, that Delthar, if you guys are familiar with him, um, had done pretty well with it for some for some challenges or whatever, but um, I figured I could pick up the list and try. You know, I've done pretty well with it too. It's a great list. Um, so Icar Wellspring is in the deck as well, main um, in the stead of I think what was it? Um, you know, what was it? Well, Brazen Apprentice is in it too, but like I guess it's cards like Phyrexian Dragon Engine things of that nature. But this is the value engine as far as Icar Wellspring. I guess the thought process is um, you're getting a card deeper. Um, it's very good with Goblin Welder and Engineer, and it's also, um, you know, if, if you get a sitting on the battlefield with Meltdown, you get to draw a card off a of Meltdown, so it's pretty sweet. Um, another big thing with this deck is three painters. Um, another thing that I haven't really been um, warm to for a while, but I'm starting to maybe warm up to, and after playing this deck and having confidence in myself and the way I, the deck will present itself, Three painters isn't a bad deal, especially with four card. You'll notice there's a painter in the sideboard. Um, a lot of times when you land a painter, at least the way I play personally, I see a lot of guys just fucking tap doom, play out fucking painter with like no plans and combo for the next three turns. I guess that's okay. It's just not the way I like to play. Sometimes it's not a bad thing because you know what? They burn a bolt, they burn a turn killing it. And, and if you have follow-ups with, like, Fable, the Mirror Breaker, and Engineer, and things of that nature, you can kind of tempo the game to where you kind of get them stuck. But to me, I like running out my Goblins. I like running out Sagas. I like finding a spot and finding myself a situation where I can just kind of put them in a bind, land a Painter, protect it, or even weld back in if they were to kill it, things of that nature. But three Painters are in the deck, so when you land a Painter, sometimes you have the thought is, you know, you go into combo at that moment anyway. That's the same thought process with Grindstone. With two grindstones in the deck and not three is when you go to get grindstone, you're looking to combo off at that point. Um, with two grindstones and also Urza Saga counts as a grindstone too, technically. So you have three or a bunch of grindstones in your deck. Um, Bray's Apprentice, great card in the deck. Um, just another, just another contender. I don't have to say much about it. You guys know it comes in with a body thought through all that shit. Four Fable Amir Breaker, enough said. The Snaring Bridge, like I said, just another. 
you know, great avenue for the deck. I'm interested to see how this plays out today in the league because there's some initi- there's all types of decks out there. So we'll see. Twin shot, uh, twin shot sniper. I also want to give a shout out to the guys that did well this weekend too on the uh, tournaments. There's been quite a few guys out there, people that have done very well. Um, I'd say four, five, six off the top of my head. You guys haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord too. Um, a lot of people are just kind of posting their list and kind of chatting about what's going on with painters. If you guys are enthusiastic about the deck, pop in. Um, I get the link in the description. I, I'll link in the description. You know, you hear me saying shit like that now. It's crazy. But I do. I put the I put the link in the description. Anyway, Twinshot Sniper in the deck. I, I'm not a huge fan of the card, but I guess it goes in. We'll keep it in. It's it's channelable. It, you'd be surprised sometimes where, where the card does really come up. It's just a pretty sweet, versatile card. Four copies, Karn. We know that. We have copies of Fury. Um, I like having three. Like I said, there was a Pithing Needle main deck in this deck that I had to cut. I just couldn't do it. Um, and I brought in the third Fury. I think it's better. I moved the Needle to the side. And I brought, I think it was another Fury to the side. I, I forget exactly what I did, but either way. Sideboard, Mind Break. There's no Blood Moon 2 in the side, if, if you can imagine. I feel like I'm, I'm like, you know, I left... I left my my apartment with like fucking you know mismatched socks or something. I feel like I didn't put my best shirt on. You know what I mean? Like you just don't feel hundred percent complete. You know you didn't shave, you didn't cut it in your beard or something. I, I just don't feel good about the situation, but it's all right. I can I can I can manage. No blood moon in the side the sideboard. Um, mind break trap as far as combo decks. Four ley lines. Don't leave home without it. I know that. Delthar likes using Leyline for Delver. Um, a lot of people have discussed this in the discords. Why don't we use Leyline for Delver? Go ahead, do it. If it works for you guys, do it. I just tried it maybe three or four times. I've got it out. And the game kind of drags because you have to draw well, too. I mean, it's a card out of your hand. You also have three more copies lingering in the deck. And you have to be able to draw action. If you don't draw action and they keep answering you, you know what I mean? Um, eventually they find Brazen Borrow and they bounce the ley line. That's happened to me at least two times. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I, I just, I'm not a fan of it, but I know that he has done really well with the card out on the battlefield versus Delver. But I like it for Reanimator, etc., etc., etc. Fourth copy of Fury, Tomod's Crypt, because Karn's in the deck with the wish targets. And alongside the four copies of Karn, we have the Prison Elements and Michael Synth Lattice. We have Liquid Metal Coating and we have tur- Tutorable Grindstones. Pain is Servant, another copy of Ensnaring Bridge, which is going to be fine, and I think it's going to be good, and we're going to try this deck out. So we get the download. We only have five blasts in this deck. I was running another copy on my sideboard for the other red list just to have. Um, do a quick look-see-poo. We have four Great Furnace. There's only one city in the deck. I didn't realize that until just now. There is a Sokazan, which I'm not really a fan of, but to be honest with you guys, I see a lot of people still running the card. It's like I said, if there was 50 times I played the card or saw it or actually had a chance to play it, I think I might have channeled it once or twice. Well, say I, say I actually have played the card 100 times. I think I might have channeled it twice out of 100 times. And the two times I channeled it was very mediocre. This card originated, Sokazan, about six or eight months ago, whatever it was, when like Narset and Teferi were very prominent. They still are. But when like the Hub Reacher decks were out and it was like hardcore Jeskai, blue white, and they were hardcore on the Planeswalkers. This is a card that you could land a Karn or you could land, you know, if they went to, you know, play a Planeswalker and you could cycle this card and then attack the Planeswalkers down from one to zero type shit. So can't keep this. These guys get snippy too when they get in. They fucking accept their hands real fast. And it's like, I, I don't even have a chance to meditate on my seven. That's just like fucking boom. See if he mulls to six too. All right, I got to fucking regroup here and, um, you know what I mean? Just, just get kind of, you know what I mean? Just fucking, come on. You know what I mean? Get a LinkedIn. LinkedIn, you know what I mean? I got to get LinkedIn. <clears throat> you guys know what LinkedIn means, right? LinkedIn. Let's go. All again. Okay, hands good. We're going to get rid of a, a battalion, I think. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not an artifact for Engineer, but it looks like a game that I might be um, okay with. There's four Fernacci in the deck, too. <clears throat> you guys know what Fernacci is, right? Ooh. Ooh. What's he doing? What's he doing, baby? Ooh. Um, you guys tell me. So let's say we're going to keep a... Let's keep a Fury for Engineer, right? Maybe. 
how do I want to assemble this game? So this is telling me it's a four color breed. This is telling me he has force of will because he's got no color out yet, so he feels pretty confident. Um, I can start with an Urza Saga, but I'm probably not going to do that. I'll start with a basic mountain here. Next turn, I will start with Urza Saga Engineer and see where it takes me. <clears throat> Build up a mana source, get around Wasteland and whatnot. Um, I would have loved maybe a Goblin Welder here. I have great mana. I don't have to worry about lands for a bit. I just have to worry about dealing with this guy. And at this point, I am going to play out. The reason, you know, he's not playing on anything right now. He's telling me he's not really a Delver deck. He's just going to be a control deck for a while. And, um, you know, now how do I want to sculpt my turn? Do I want to turn three Karn here and then tap out? How does this want to go? I mean, do I, want, I mean, if I play here as a Saga, I'm going to be taking myself off of a few things here. So let me just play out the uh, Engineer Sealy. There's no engine in this deck, um, which I kind of wish I had. But I think with the uh, Dragon Engine, I'll get Nick a Wellspring because this is just the way this is going to go. This card's going to die. <clears throat> it's going to die. Um, could be a Braze Apprentice here. See what I'm up against. Um, but I will start with a... Um, Icker Wellspring, that's fine. And we'll see how he takes it. He's staring at the card. He's like, oh, they don't, these guys don't play this card anymore. What happened? So what's going to be okay here is the guy's going to Swords this, and he might play a Planeswalker. And if he does that, I can Furiate away. Try to anyway. Um, it's like a four-color control deck, which Blood Moon's very good against. So Swords. And now a Force of Will is just going to have to target my my um, Karn here. So a lot of times what happens, I'm just going to have to um, be patient here and see what he does. Could be like an Uro here. So he doesn't play Uro. Could have Force of Negation up here. So at this point... Um, I'm just going to play out another engineer and then force him to, uh, keep removing my things. Cause I'm at a good point now. I'm just saying I might not be, but I'm at a good point now where I can play a creature. Right. And what's in my deck? I want to thin. I might just get like a shadow spear or, uh, see, this would be a good point for, for a Frexian dragon engine. And I should have done that. Um, but I might just thin my deck or something that I really want to see. Um, <clears throat> it's not going to be a one drop. It might just be like a, um, like an ensnaring bridge or something here. You know what I mean? And it's because this deck, I don't really want to see ensnaring bridge. I have one on my sideboard in my sideboard from Karn and I know the card's going to die and I don't want to thin my deck of one drops cause I can get them. I can get like, I can get, um, soul guide lantern with, or is a saga I can get, you know, you, you know, I, I don't, and I want, I also want cards in my, in my, my graveyard that are pertainable to the matchup. So I know you guys know all this. Some of you guys might even take different routes, uh, to be honest with you. But for me personally, I think this is going to be a fine play. Um, you know, it's a shame I didn't have Dragon Engine. Maybe I should have just added that to keep things current, but besides the shuffle here. So I do have creatures I can make here, which actually I wouldn't mind like a, Great furnace or a mountain or even a goblin. Goblin welder would be ideal here. That's not a bad draw. Um, so make a creature, untap, make a creature, play another one of these. Also, I, I make a creature, untap, make a creature, play a land. This is going to take me off of Karn and bullshit, and I can get like a soul guide lantern and start working this guy. Um, so it's fair to play out this card. This is going to take me off a of con and other plays for a while now, which is fine, I guess. Um, I won't play out the pedal. Looks like I'll be targeting a, um, a soul banger. Hey. Cat. Hey. Mental man. Nice pass. Sorry, guys. <laughs> He gets in all types of shit. He's the best cat I ever fucking saw, too, by the way. God bless him. See if he has a dress down. He's got five cards. What happened? I'm not even paying attention. All right, I'm making another toke. Take a toke. Jay Tokes. What do we got? 
Ooh, it's a tweeny. Hold on. Best card in the deck. What? We get a Soul Guide Lantern here, I guess. Probably one of the better cards. What's he have? A Dress Down? Sure, buddy. Oh, uh, you know what? If he does use his, um, he already uses Mystic Sanctuary, so that's pretty cool. So dress down it is. So I'm kind of pressuring this guy so that he can't really um, land a planeswalker or anything because I have some stuff that I can do. You know what I mean? So how many dress downs are in the deck? Maybe one or two. So, like, my route was to make creatures. A lot of guys could have just chained a Planeswalker early. A lot of guys could have, um, I don't know, got, I mean, I, I don't even know. I do have plays, so you guys are with me. You guys know what's up. Um, like I said, I don't want to see Ensnaring Bridge in draws. I do not want to draw this card. Um, I just, you know, I, I figured the way we could we could do this was um, kind of thin the deck of that card. Because I know my guy's going to die. So, what's he have here? Could I have, like, an Uro? I do have that Soul Guide Lantern. A lot of lot, some people might have got a, um, you know, <clears throat> a uh, grindstone out of the out of the deal here. Now, here, use a red blast, sable. I'm gonna mock opal here. It looks like so I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. So if he dress downs me, I'll start with a um, fable of mirror breaker here. If I get dazed, I'll be upset. <sighs> force the will, force the will. All right, uh, play out the Lotus Petal here, I guess. Make my guys fat um, and come in for five, hopefully. Might have to use my Soul Guide Lantern here due to the fact that he could have a Snapcaster Mage. Have a terminus too. We well, got that. What's he putting on top? I have to use this thing now. And I can land a car next turn, get Tomat's Crypt if he goes for a. Uh, Targeting Brainstorm. <clears throat> Got three cards. I'm just going to have to use this thing now. So this way here. And you have one more card, two more cards. Okay, I'm gonna land a try land a car in here. <clears throat> Twin shot might be effective here. Fire blast. Engineer's not bad. Um let me get the last card out. So it's a hard cast forced at one card.
see what I get here. I might just decline it. Um, I'm going to decline. It's because I have, I know I have Shadow Spear in there, but I should probably just grab the Shadow Spear. The problem, the thing is, if I, if I draw Shadow Spear, it's not a bad draw. There's going to be an arrow in the mix here, which kind of sucks, but. Uro sucks if I if he has it. Kid's gonna eat God of this game. It's gonna be crazy. Got one white left. I'm imagining this is gonna be a uh, hard cast endurance to block my uh, fury, probably. Um, which I'm gonna have to maybe use twin shot to to kill it first. To put the damage on it. Arrow. Go to eight. Take an eight exactly, so you really can't cast a row. I mean, you can. He has arrow in his hands. Okay. Draws a card. If it's just land swords, I'm fucked. You know what I mean? Oh, he conceded? Oh, a good try. I mean, fucking good. If I had lost that game, I wouldn't have been happy. But I mean, if I had Dragon Engine in this deck, it would have been so much better. Um, and so what would have happened was, you know, I mean, he went to eight. So, I, would, I mean, if, if he found a removal spell, I could have probably, I don't know. That's, that's a discussion for another time. Sorry. All right.
Let's bring in Magus. Oh, there's no Magus in my deck. That sucks. Um, all right, some cards I don't want to really see. It's going to be in the Cut Shadow Spear because it's just a card that is extra to me on the play. Cards like Braze and Fable are very strong. I believe the Twin Shot's kind of weak here. Um, because I'm on the draw, I'm going to bring in a copy of Painter, and I'll cut Twin Shot. The card's just a little extra. And um, Needle. I mean... I don't know. It's more like, let me see what their decks look like, because I haven't seen it in a while. Um, I just don't know if I want Needle. Um, and I have to remember to leave targets in my graveyard, in my sideboard for um, for, Kar for for Karn. So let me just take a look at their deck real quick. Um, some reason I can't find it um, I didn't see black out of him <clears throat> Let me that up. Um, I'll leave Lois Pella. <clears throat> Kind of working on meltdown a little bit, I guess. <clears throat> fucking hoot. I always get a kick out of these guys playing Wastely on this deck. I don't know how they fucking do it. <clears throat> Fable the Mirror Breaker is a fucking awesome draw. This Fury is just going to have to be completely um, saved down the road. Does he have days in his deck too? He's got six cards in hand. Do I want to play around? Uh, I do want to get the Saga out. Do I want to play around Dress Down now? Maybe. Um, you know. I just wish I had engineer. Uh, I had the. Uh... So no dress down. I guess I'll just get a um, like a wellspring here. And I'll save everything else. I want something good. Braze Apprentice could be it too, but um, Braze Apprentice is a pretty good draw. I don't really care much on turn three. I mean, if he plays Arrow, good for him. I mean, you know, Planeswalker would kind of suck for me, but I have answers for it. So I don't really want to go crazy here. Um, I do have that Red Blast for his dress down in case that happens. So I watch out for Meltdown, things of that nature. Did I see Red out of him yet? What cards do I care about? Collect the roof? I don't know. Can I play Days? I 
That's a good draw. I'm going to make creatures and try to bleed this guy out a little bit. You know what I mean? That's a great draw. And that's what I'm telling. Like, that's like such a good tie into this deck. Like, I just can't believe how nice this card is. Like, it's just such a cool card to have. You know what I mean? Like, I have plans. Like, I made plans for the weekend. Like, you know what I mean? It's like Tuesday night. And it's like, fucking, you've been working hard all week. You, you know, you want to come home and, you know, trade some stock, whatever. You know what I mean? And fucking make plans for the weekend. I got plans for the weekend. Fable and Mirror Break is my plans. Let's make plans. You know what I mean? Let's hang out. This is red. I'm nervous. What's he got? Uro? Did he already play a land? Did he already play a land? I'll let him do that. It's fine. See if I can't save this blast for something particular. In particular. All right. Would you guys blast that? Maybe. He's going to find a land drop here, maybe, but that's okay. Um, I'll let him find his land and leave up his... Uh, it's probably worth a blast there. Um, maybe I can find another red blast here. I'll get a soul guide lantern. We have the Lotus Petal here. I don't like playing it to Meltdown here, but I don't know my Red Blast. And if he fights over this, I'm going to have to let it go. Um, oh my God, is that good? I wonder what he has. Could be a Meltdown too, so. If anything, worst case scenario, I burn my Petal to draw a card off a of Soul Guide Lantern. And he's going to have Meltdown. I just know he does. It's okay. Um, um, Okay, we'll get that out of the way. Keep forgetting about that card. Um, so now um, a land drop, dress down would be tough. Um, I got to keep the Soul Guard Lantern up. Uh, my my 2-2 two -two makes my tokens fatter. Um, I don't really love that play of mine, but I feel like I had to do that because he has a Tarn. Plays it. Now, what's he do? Um, okay. Something's up. Not good. Um... So he has dress down here. He's targeting brainstorm. I'll fake Red Blast here.
Um, I'll get something. I don't want to thin my deck of Braze Apprentice. Um, I'll just get Ensnaring Bridge, get that out of my fucking deck, and pass. Not play my Lotus Petal. Like I said, I want to draw Braze Apprentice. I don't mind drawing a painter, playing around surgical a little bit. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to say too much, but the way the games go, um, Ica Wellspring is enough in my graveyard that I can accrue value. And even by putting a single combo piece like a painter at Grindstone on my graveyard, it's good, but it's not going to get me far unless I have active welders that I can keep alive. And I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just kind of bl playing the game. Uh, you have to credit your draw steps too. Like I said, I have to assemble the combo. So that means getting grindstone and then, you know, getting grindstone on the battlefield, grinding myself, finding a painter off of my own grinds in my graveyard, things of that nature, keeping an engineer alive. I mean, there's a lot of things in here that go into this. Um, so this Lotus Petal might pump my guys enough where it could help me. So see what we're up to. Yeah, you do do that there because you're giving me an opportunity to weld one of these out for a wellspring. So it's fine. And play painter into a dress down. Um. <clears throat> Does he have double green yet? He doesn't. Um, so I might just do this now in his upkeep. Oh, you know what's end step? Let me do this in his upkeep. Um, Sure. Five cards. Kind of need a Pyroblast here. And so four cards. I might want to fucking sack this thing to um, draw a Pyroblast. Call me crazy, but I kind of have to. I think um, this is going to have to. I have to draw a Pyroblast. Uh, Arn.
Um, I can fetch out a grindstone here if he doesn't have an answer. Whoa. He said draw pyroblast. Problem is turns on his force of will, so see what he's up to. A little scared of Uro. Comes in endurance, maybe. Oh, he's got another fucking Mystic Sanctuary in his deck. I think, right? Okay, that's fine. You get another time walk. It's fine. Whatever it is. What do you put up there? Let's hope it's like a fucking... He's going expressive. Okay. Um... Sure. With um with expressive in his hands. Okay. With tokens on, sure. Okay, so he's passing. Um oh he's attacking. Okay, yeah, yeah. I draw Atlantic and maybe win here. Must have force of will on him. So he didn't expressive, which means he's got force of will. Oh, what a fucking peel guy. I can get this Force of Will out of him. And I can block. I can make that a creature if he Force of Wills it. Uh, so he's got Force of Will on him, so he's going to use it here. But what's going to have to happen is... Um, I mean, he has force of will, but the higher upside here is that I can get Twin Shot Sniper out of my board in Fury. So the play is get Karn, Fury. If a Karn resolves, Fury is guy. Um, then I still might die. If I have the win next turn. So if that doesn't if that if that doesn't work, it's make a creature here. And make a 3-3. Three, three. And be able to block this. But he's going to draw cards, right? I know he's going to draw cards. I know he's got Force of Will on him. I wonder why he didn't... Um, maybe he has... Let me play Fury then. I don't know if Fury's the right play though. Um... Do I have a needle? I do. Huh. Yeah, I can play Karn and then still hold up Creature. But if I play Karn... Let me see if Karn resolves. Let me see. If I get Needle, I just think I get Twinshot Sniper here.
if I get needle, needle's that. Give me to one. See, I have to kill this Karn, right? I have to kill this thing. That way there it gives me a free look. I can make a creature. Um, Um, I can get bridge to next turn. Um, he really can't attack either this guy. Oh, is that good? Um, I draw a card. I can still block. Um, yeah. Two cards in here. I draw a card. Okay. Where are you going with that thing? Him? Um... I'll make a creature. Doesn't matter because it, it dies anyway. Mm. So I'm gonna draw a painter. Still not bad. Do I get here? I can get a shadow spear. It's pretty good, right? Do I still have that thing in my deck? I don't on the draw. Let's get a grindstone here. And
Get that swords. Ah, uh, okay. So we've got one card left. I'm at four. Oh, no attacks. Coming in. Oh, I feel bad. I don't feel good about this. My fucking compadre. Good games, bro. Right to the last drop. That's magic. That's great. He's gone. Fucking left me. Fucking vanished. You can see the dust flowing behind the games. That's why I play this deck. That's why I play magic. This is we played, you know, almost a full round of great interactive magic. This is great legacy. We have great cards. You know, Express Federation, Minsk and Boo. We have, I mean, I don't love Minsk and Boo. It's a good card. Uh, Meltdown, Ponders, Brainstorms, Force of Will, Swords. I'm playing with, you know, I didn't see one Goblin Welder in this whole. This whole this whole thing. All right, enough of me, you know, kidding around. All right, let's go next match. That was a good game, man. Good interaction. A couple decision points for, for um, I don't know, some of you guys might, you know, le like leaning hard on combo pieces through your engineers early is not where you want to be. I'm just telling you from experience. I know a lot of people are playing in paper, and it might be different because some guys just aren't privy to paint their in paper. They're just really not. But some people are. But a lot of times I see that the goblins live longer in paper than they do in, in, in digital. So I just know the routines. Like you're thinning your deck of combo pieces. It takes longer to assemble. I don't have the two card combo pieces. If I did, it'd be a different story. Even at that, I don't like to, I don't like to play that game. You know what I mean? So, um, And it's fine, we'll try it. Let's see what he's up to. He's going to six. Shadow Spear is kind of a null card here, but um you know, I get things to do. I wouldn't mind like a um there's no semi spirit guide in this deck either, so So right here, the play is, is it a Wasteland deck? Probably not. I'm going to play out Soul Guide Lantern, but the question is, do I play out my Great Furnace or my Basic? So what has to happen now is, what's my subsequent plays? You know what I mean? Like, do I want to, I mean, if I draw, you know, a Fable the Mirror Breaker, it's taking me off of like an, I mean, I have an artifact now already, so um, I guess there's no reason to get nervous. I'll just play out the uh, Soul Guide Lantern. There is definitely some contemplation as to how you play the Great Furnace early because it gets wasted and um but it does account for an artifact um if you happen to have the sequence sequence of welders you know what i mean but then again if you start playing sagas you're taking yourself off a free artifact that just counts as an artifact this could be reanimated we'll see what's up um so Kazan, we'll we'll run out a um you run out the tomb here with shadow spear um do i care about I'll do that. Um, <sighs> I'll take a turn off. I'll play out the Shadow Spear here. <clears throat> kind of okay with this. If this is Reanimator, it's a pretty good hand with Soul Guide Lantern. I just don't want to be able to, I just don't want to fade out leaving a Pyroblast in my hand. It'd be terrible. I mean, next turn I can play. I get a better feel for what I'm playing against. I can, you know, get the weak wellspring or whatever. Shit of that nature. We'll see. So it's like, you know, seven cards in hand, no plays, Vernon Catacombs, and he's Reanimator. Um, uh, no reason to take damage where I don't have to, except to play around days. And it could be a days deck. We'll play out the um, 
am I all right, dude? It doesn't matter if I had this. I'm not okay. I should just play off the app. So, because it didn't matter. I'm not playing into days. I'm playing around days on his turn. Um, yes, I'll start with a um, Ica Wall Spring. What can I do here? Um, I could go for a bridge. I'll go for an ensnaring bridge, I guess, just to be safe. I mean, I want Ica Wall Spring, but if this is just what I think it is, um, you know, and they show and tell bullshit, you know what I mean? I think bridge is pretty good. Draw step, pause. <laughs> He's trying to fake me out. He's got eight cards now. Okay, so it's reanimation. I was lucky to have that soul banger and ensnaring bridge should seal should seal, should seal the deal. Um what's like his best uh, what's the best outcome here for him? I'm gonna stop welding. I mean if I wanted to I wanted to go well spring so I could draw out of this, but um you know. Bristle brand animate that lotus petal, you got it. Comes like a like a like a discard spell maybe. What's he hitting? Targeting Gristle Brand. So I can do up again. Do up. Do up to do. Play out Urza Saga here. I can start swapping out sh Shadow Banger for the Soul Banger. You know how it works. God bless. He's probably going to want to discard me here at some point. So the good thing about Shadow Spear here is when it comes in, it hits a target card. So there's no reason to really weld this out on his end step. So when he makes a move, I target the card. I can get two wax. So I hit the target, and then I hit the whole graveyard. So I have two, two um, two game. I have two um I have two game actions. Is that what we call game actions? It's one you know, ETB game action and then a sacrifice game action is game actions. Right? Um I'll bring in the ley line of the void, God bless us. Um T Crypt. I'll bring a I'll fucking hit hit him up with the needle. Um Bridgerana, Bridgerini, Bridgeru. Let me cut some cards I just don't want to see, okay? Out of the gate. I don't want to see Fury, I just don't want to see that card. Raise Apprentice, I just don't want to see that card. Shadow Spear, I don't want to see that card. I have two more cuts. I'll cut Karns, just don't want to see him. I don't want to see Twin Shot. I'll cleave in one card in case he gets savvy with a Surge. J Surge. I'd rather see a Grindstone early, get this game off, get this, get the game over with, and a Painter. All right? Painter co coincides with Red Blast, okay? Uh, Red Blast stays in because of Show and Tell or whatever. Um, Fable is better than Fury, better than Twinny Banger. Better than Brea's, better than Shadow Spear. I mean, Karn's a four drop on the draw. We don't want to do that. Mind Break Trap is a far cry. Very seldom do I even see three spells out of these guys in one turn. Could be like Faith of Sooty and Lotus Petal reanimate, but whatever. And in that business, we're going to take a deep breath and try to get a nice ley line in the board state, kind of you know create a nice pathway for ourselves and come in nice. You know what I mean? So um, let me see if I can get in nice and just kind of make that ley line happen. You know what I mean? So. Um, all right, let's go. What a fucking hand. Like, how can I mull this hand? I can't mulligan, and I'm not going to mulligan just because... <laughs> I might have to mulligan. And let me tell you why, okay? The only way I can win this game, this hand, is if he has just Faithless Looting. What ends up happening here is usually a turn one reanimate, or it's just a quick unmask. The unmask is going to take my Tomod's Crypt, then I have to play out the Goblin Welder, 
the benefit of this hand is a free spell in Tormont's Crypt and Goblin Welder being able to switch and and re and re um, and re um, reanimate tar at Tormont's Crypt. But I feel like being on the draw and the, the discard they have, I don't think I can get there with this hand. I'm sorry to say it, guys. I just can't do it. So God, you know, God willing, take a deep breath and chill out a little bit. You know what I mean? So. Ah, oh, fucker. I have to keep this hand. It'll be a thought experiment for you guys, too, to see this. Um, mind you, I'm looking for a ley line. We'll see what happens. I wonder if I mulled again, what would happen? Five cards? Come on, baby. Give me something good. See? Ugh. I'm playing around Serenity, so my thought here is do I play out Ancient Tomb, hitting my Lotus Petal, and I'm just fucked off right if he has Serenity. Um, I'm worried about Show and Tell, so I'll just play it all my shit and not even fret. Um, this way here, it's fine. I'll get a bridge here, I guess. Uh, I guess it's the right player. No, um, bridge is just really good. Uh, it could be a Tormod. It could just could be a. Um, I mean, so if, I, if he slips under a, if he slips under the uh, the crypt effect, bridge is just gonna hold him off for a few turns. Um, and I have a pyroblast, which is really good. So. All right, if I draw a painter, I'm in good shape. That's why I wanted that lotus petal in my hands. Great fucking example of multitude of different things that could happen. And it's really good to see this shit because it's what happens with my animator. So my idea of finding ley line to mull harder to five or to, to five to find ley line would have been blown up by his serenity, right? He probably would have taken my pyroblast or if I had one at that point, so I couldn't kill it with painter. Um, my decision to play out the Lotus Petals and the Great Furnace, like I said, Serenity was a card, it's still hitting me. So he also, the, the cherry on top was Thoughtseize. And I was correct with Thoughtseize not to keep the first hand, and the second hand I had to keep. But they do have this card, so I'm just telling you, like, it's Ley Line for me with these guys. And that's it. And if he wants to destroy, I'd rather have him destroy a Ley Line than discard my only answer, you know what I mean? So see if I can rip a Painter. Here. I could draw a card off a of Soul Guide Lantern, so I I bring in. I'm gonna play out the mountain here, and when he goes to use that, I can draw a card off a of Soul Guide Lantern. That's the reason to keep Lotus Petal in your hand. Um, Take his thought sees, I guess. And we'll take a look at another card, please. And let's see if I can rip real quick. See what do I want? Uh, you tell me. A mountain? Me a fucking artifact. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> the one card in my deck. Um. Ugh.
Ah! <laughs> Better than most things. Even if he in his graveyard, he has um, nothing great. Okay. Give me an artifact, please. That's not bad. Play it. See what he's up to. He's got two cards in his hand. I can play that too. I can play that too, right? Actually, can I? I can't. Um, I have to hold off a turn. Let's make a creature and then um, keep my head up real quick for uh, Soul Banger and Snare and Bridge, whatnot. So, um, pay attention here to artifacts for the future as far as another Serenity and bullshit. You might even have another one. Oh, he conceded? Okay. Would have been interesting uh, to see how this game worked out. Um, really good to see this, though. This is, this is part and parcel exactly what Reanimator and things of that nature really want to see and do and interact with and play. It's a great game. Um, so, for instance, if he just went and passed and attacked me, uh, what would I do at that point? I could make a creature, make a 1-1, one, one, and then, you know, maybe take the damage, try to race him back. On the backswing, um, what would I get out of my my uh, my 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 deck? Probably, um, I already have a Soul Guy Lantern in the board. Um, I could get a Tomod's Crypt out to be safe. I could get a Grindstone. I could, I could set up a Fable. It's quite a few ways to play it. It just depends on the circumstance and how you feel in the read. So great game, and uh, I'm happy to show it. So let's hop into another one and take a breather real quick. Um, See what's up again. This is just a uh, wider variety of painter. Uh, like I said, if I was to jump in again, thinking about it more, I might just cut the brayers for a uh, for a um, for a uh, friction dragon engine. I think the card is just too strong. You really can't talk me out of that card. I think that card is just so good. I know that Icar Wellspring is kind of taking that spot, but I mean, if you just like I said, I was getting Icar Wellspring in my graveyard. And the, the benefit of that was you saw me draw a card when it was in the board, Ica Wellspring. But at the same time, I just think I'd rather have a uh, Dragon Engine. Um, I'm ready to hop in a few seconds. So three Fury, Twin Shots in the deck. Maybe maybe even Twin Shot would get cut. But the problem is I don't want too many uh, three drops and shit like that. Let's hop in. Um, what else can we talk about? I don't know. Four Karn I think is fine. Four Fernachis. Um, one City. I like one City. I'm, I'm okay with one City. Three painters, fine with three painters too. So let's see if we can hop in real quick and um, showcase some Carnegie Mellon. Who's Carnegie Mellon? Is it like an investor or some shit? I like Karn. Karn's strong, especially when you're leaning on bridge. I don't mind bridge. It's always um, hands good. Oh. Keep it. <clears throat> right? I have interaction. I have a great turn two. I have blasphemous act in case I get nervous. Twenty twin twins kind of weak and the, and the snaring bridge is fine. You know what I mean? It's a fine card. So um we'll see what happens. I have a good I have good interaction. I have disruption. I have an ensnaring bridge for creatures. I have a vice powerful magic card and fable the mirror breaker. I have a twinner. And I'm gonna pass with a mountain up. Even if I draw a welder here, I'd still pass. So I'm gonna just play out my basics and um tap my mana for a second. I'll pass. You'll play the game a little bit. I gotta play out a bridge here. Um, I'm just gonna do it because if it is reanimator and I'm not doing anything about it, it sucks. I'm taking myself off a blast if it's combo. That's the only problem here. Okay, so it's a thunder deck. What is this? I've been hearing about this card. 
Jack o' lanterns, an artifact. Pay one, sacrifice the jack o' lantern. He's got one land still. Exile up to one target card from a graveyard. Exile it. Add one man of any color. Is this like um? Wasn't this in like a doomsday build recently? I don't even know. I'm gonna play out fable though. No. Um. I played out. I played out the snaring bridge yet because I was nervous about um, about a reanimator deck discarding discarding this card to me. Am I all right, dude? And um, I'm talking way too much. We go to four cards with a force of will here. What's he throwing away a baleful strix? I still think this is combo, um, and bridge is absolutely nothing for me. So I got to find out what kind of combo deck this might be. I'm not even sure yet. Bridge is okay. Um, it's gonna, he's gonna have to remove, but I'd rather be attacking him with the tokens. But like I said, I played this bridge out early because I was concerned about, um, a discard reanimator deck. Let's see, let's see, got, uh, Beautiful Strix. Am I just dead here? Like, is this a combo? Or is he just running this card out? So. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta reset my mind. Um, so what happens is, is this card synergistic? Let me just pay attention here. Is this just, just mitigation? Is there a benefit to this card? I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. Exile it from your graveyard. One other color. All right, so a good thing about 20 Banger is I don't have to worry about, um, I don't have to worry about getting countered unless you stifle some bullshit. So I, I'll just wait for him to tap out, I guess. Did they play Wasteland? And I'll just, I guess I'll just wait to see what he does. Um, can I get fucked for not doing this now? Maybe I'll get him, I, I want to get him excited and try to draw a force of will and shit. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll start with a red blast. Maybe I'll get a blast this card. See if he just jams his uh, guy. happens oh he's targeting that you draw a card okay so it's just graveyard shit right that card does so i don't want to get force of will here i'll kill this thing um so i can get i can get soul guide lantern i'll hold the card Okay, so I'm, I'm not, I'm set up pretty well. So let me take a deep breath, see what I want to do. Um, because I drew well there, it's probably a good idea to kill this thing now and then play out a goblin well there. Um, so I feel safer with that. So, um, I'll play out well there so I don't get days first and I'll hit this thing. Is that right? I'll mill, mill a few things. Okay. So I can weld now. Uh, what's my best targets? Twin Shot Sniper is very good. Um, also, that being said, I can weld out my Snaring Bridge. Okay, what are you doing? You hit my uh, Soul Guide Lantern, my bridge, my welder's fine. Barry's really good. I'll get a uh, Icar Wellspring here. What else can I shut him down with? I'll just get Icar Wellspring, get Wacko. So,
Now I can get 20 in. I can weld them in, um, probably for a snaring bridge here, which is excellent. And I'm not going to fret. I'm going to play out my land, not get nervous. Um, Can I lose to anything? Uh, so my decision is either well Valdic or well spring for like I'll just I'll GM Garnier do the force of a lot of them. Um I have to get a Tomod's crypt in case I do die. Start with that. Because he could exile my um my soul guide lantern. I think it's just fair this way, so I don't die, actually. I won't attack either. I could have got um, the uh, liquid metal coating, but there's a chance I could fucking pass out here. I don't want to do that. Needle's good too. Um, so he's getting a wizard. I think it's going to be one of his guys. Goes to four cards. Gets a Thassa's Oracle. So he has Thassa's Oracle in his hand. Um, and there's a way to do this. So if I go to mill him. Fine, right? Strands and so he's gonna have strand and land. It's fine. And you have Thassa's Oracle? Oh man, what the fucking... That's his, that's his game, right? Yeah, it's game, right? Or is it? It is game, right? So, yeah. I could have needled. Um, I could have needled something. But that was kind of the worst case scenario. Did I fuck up a little bit? I know. I don't think I fucked up, right? At the point... All right, so let's get the game. So at the point I had Karn, I could have welded out like a wellspring. And there's nothing I could have done to stop this. Like, I think Thoughts' Oracle is the only card he could have had to win this game, right? So he just wins. I'll just I'll let him do it. Take a while.
I mean, he already has thoughts. So, uh, I mean, I just lose, right? I mean, I hit I hit him now with the with the graveyard chip, but he's gonna keep doing this till he has zero cards in this game. All right, good games. I mean, is there something I'm missing? There's nothing I'm missing, right? I mean, three cards in his hand. I'll play the game, I guess. All right, hope I didn't miss anything there. <laughs> Fucking bad. All right, let's regroup. Um, there had to be needle there, right? Like that's one of the only ways around that is needle. Correct me if I'm wrong. I just uh, it had to have been needle, which I don't have main. So if I carned, I had a free spell in Tomat's crypt. I, I don't know if there was a way around that. Forgive me if I if I miss something. Um, I'll bring in. I'll bring in Needle because it comes off a of Saga. Fury's just kind of mediocre. Twin Shot's really good. Um, I'll cut Braze for lack of better cards. I guess Bridge is fine. Um, I'll cut Shadow Spear. Um, it's like Orm's Chant stuff, right? Orm's Chant, Teferi. Um, I'll bring in that Fury for Teferi. I'll cut a Lotus Petal. I think Karn's fine on the play. Um, and I guess I can cut Snaring Bridge. I can always wish for it if I have to. Um, grindstone. So Crypt, I want to be able to wish for as well. Um, Petal's a cuttable card just because I need better cards in my deck. Shadow Spear is kind of weak. Um, Ridge, Pain of Servant is fine. Maybe I want that in the play. Um, Fury, like I said, a lot of their cards come down when they just want to win. Eighth of Vile is a card I gotta watch out for. That's why Karn's good. Um, Braze Apprentice is a value card here, but I have my Fables. I don't want to get bound up on three because I have to be able to hold up red and shit to be able to answer his stuff. There's no bolts in this deck. Um, so I have to lean on other cards like Pithing Needle, Soul Guide, Lantern, Blast, and just Correctness. Um, Mind Break Trap um, could be a card. So it's. I mean, it could be Mind Break Trap. I don't think I want that card, though, on my deck. Um, I'm at 60, so I have two Furies. Twin Shots is a sneaky two-damage card. I have four Karn. Leyline's Line's going to be in my deck. I know Teferi bounces it, but I still want it. Um, uh, Fable's good. Engineer, Welder, Pyroblast, Grindstone, all that stuff. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking if I wanted the Painter instead of, like, a Lotus Petal or some shit. Um, I might just because I want to get the game over with. Um, and I might just cut something for that. I'll cut a lotus petal for a painter. Let's try this. I have two furies, which is fine. Um, Um, it's like a mulligan worthy hand, if you ask me. Um, I know I can try to get Metalcraft, but it just doesn't seem right to me. I have a four drop and three drops. I can melt, I can meld the better cards. Uh, 
Um, hand's fine. I guess I get rid of a Karn, clearly, and have a one lander. I guess it's it's serviceable. Um, I guess I now I name nomads, or do I even care? It could be just Teferi here. Um, and I'm probably gonna want to play that out soon because um, I have to play right here because um, first of all, I have a ley line to stop me from dying. So how do I want to service this hand? Is turn one needle and name what? Um, Teferi probably, right? And I'll just get this out of the way. I know I have the blast for Teferi, but I just think I need to name. If I name the nomads. He just has to bounce this, so I just need Teferi. Um, of course, this could go south pretty fast, but let's see what I draw. I need an Ancient Tomb. Uh, would be excellent. I know he's got Prismatic Ending in his deck, shit of that nature, but um, let's see how I go. I mean, I have a draw step, Nick or Wellspring, so. Ancient Tomb. What do I want? Ancient Tomb. Actually, I want... Yeah, I want Ancient Tomb or Saga. Not good. Does not shuffle. Okay. Probably name Pyroblast here. Probably an engineer. I've seen guys get that. I've seen guys. I've seen guys fucking pick off cards out of nowhere, like random shit. Land. Um. Might have a game. We'll see. What's my play? Um, I don't like going out the lands. If I could sneak something in real quick, I just don't recommend doing that ever at all. Really, I rarely do that. People do it sometimes to success, like if it's an Urza Saga, but I don't know if I like that play. It's six cards. The ball that would be me. Um, I go for the card here. I think it's better to go for the card and try to hold up Pyroblast here. If he wants to nab a Painter or a Pyroblast, this will be it. That's phenomenal. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to use my mana here and just try to get a card out. <clears throat> okay. That's his turn. And I'm going to try to bang out a card real quick. Um, you know what I mean? And the Pirate Blast doesn't get much better in the game. Because just to, fe to ferry static ability. So it's good to get that card out. Okay, finds a land drop. Five cards now. What's he going to play? I mean, um, you got it, buddy. You can't act. Well, Karn doesn't let that happen. Um, what do I want to see? Let's see what happens. An engineer. I'm going to jam a Karn, get the Fossil Will out, um, see what happens. And what do I get? Let's see if this even happens. All right, so... I have to figure out what I want to do. I get all nervous. Like, I'm fucking my hand shaking. I got a surgical. What do I want to do? I have a few things in mind here. Can I lose this game again? Just some stupidity. Um, he has, there's no Cabal Therapy to flashback. I'll just get something here. It's four mana. So I have Ley Line out. I have Needle on Teferi. He's got four cards in hand. I think I start going out the prison pieces here. I can get a Grindstone here as well. Um, I think I start slower here and get the, um, to get a, la uh, to get the, um, the liquid metal coating here, you know, just pass. Shuffle. 
So I don't want to lose a game like I did before. So I have to nab his white source here, it looks like. I think I have to kill this card. Is it? I can hit my own like a wellspring here, right? I already have needle out. Oh, man. I'm going to nab his white source here. I have to just play this way. So. Do I whack, uh, do I throw this engineer? I can get grindstone next turn. If I can play a free painter here, I gotta play around days though, it sucks. Um, I'm gonna play this way. I don't care, I'm nervous. I think it's the only way I can lose, right? Oh, I didn't make my guy a creature. Still wrong. Alright, so I, I kinda misplayed. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's still fine. Uh, hopefully. But here, I just don't die, you know what I mean? Did I fuck up again? Oh, I did. I misclicked. Oh, my God. Oh, poor me. Oh, fucking misclick with the Fury. That's the second time or third time that's happened to me. So what I could do here is um, if he goes to fetch in response to my painter, I can kill his white. I already, I already used um, I already used the uh, little metal coating. So what, what can happen here is let me see how he, he fetches here. Um, hit him. Ugh. Enough is enough. God damn. I'm like four steps ahead of myself. I can't even come back to square one. I'm like, oh, I can fury my own nickel metal coating. I mean, my own nickel wellspring. And his guy, but I didn't make my guy the coding a creature. I, I gotta go back. I'm, I got like seven things going on and I missed the fury trigger again. And I was probably a little overzealous to do that, but I'm just kind of playing, going with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cracks me up. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I was waiting for him to fetch. That was his white source and then he could source my guy named black. So, all right. So let's, uh, hop on the next game. Um, Oh. Kind of want to cut a fable here.
I'm gonna cut a goblin welder because a lot of the cards are swords oriented and it takes a little while to set this card up. And I'm gonna bring in another grindstone, try to be a little faster in the draw. And um I'm thinking Tomot's grip for like a fable here, but I just want to be able to wish for something if I land Karn. I'm gonna try this, let's go. I don't know what to do with this. I think I got to keep his hands. I just can't mull it. It's just too good. I have four lay, four ley lines floating around in my in my deck, which sucks. But well, there's like the the wild card in this hand. It's just not a good card. But I think I might have a turn one, depending on how his play is. I might have a turn one welder be able to get that to stick and then fade out for a couple turns. At least have a turn one play. It's good because that can just kind of set me up for like three or four turns or whatever. You know, God willing, I have no artifact yet. Um, the Urza Sog is the kicker. The fact that I can get a Soul Guide Lantern, I can get a Pithy Needle, I can get Grindstone, I can do things. And also Pyroblast is very good because I can nab at the Ferry. I can nab his Gnome as, as, as Cephalid. I can play, you know, I have a Karn coming up here. I have Hot Draws. I'm doing okay. It could be better. It's not Mulligan worthy. I'm going to try it. All right. That's a fine. So he's telling me he doesn't have the win next turn. That's a fine. Ripsky pool might be worth not playing the uh, welder. And let's go. I need to keep up double pyroblast here. It's going to have to be Force of Will for him. Read the vial is a good card to get. Into the ferry, it looks like. Do I fight over that? I kind of have to. I'm not playing out Goblin Welder because it's going to try to go to Fury. I just don't think it's worth it. If I draw a Tomb, um, it's pretty good.
a lot of times these brainstorms you gotta kind of have to counter because you could have like a couple knock amoebas in his hand a couple dead cards you know what i mean but at the same time if i counter this it could put me in a bad spot for next turn so you know i just gotta let him brainstorm here i think but it's right to counter these sometimes especially with this deck because there's so much chafe sometimes I just can't take myself off of counter spell here. So he didn't find a land, so he might be locked. Um, I would love a tomb here, dude. Um, it's not bad either. Um, I'm not gonna play Karn. I really want to. It can put me in a tough spot. Um, uh. He's got to have a daze in his deck, too. Um, I don't think it's right to play Karn here. I just think it's better to play out um, you know, a land and make a creature. I got to watch my time, too. I'm way behind on time. There's all this talking. So I got I to gotta chill out fucking play faster. Sorry. I'm really trying to sculpt the game here. I, I just really am. I'm, try, I'm trying to. Uh, I mean, I can't play. I can't just tap off a card here. This guy in play? Sure. And then he has that thing on two. Six cards. <sighs> Get a soul guy lantern here, right? Now, if I get, I want to resolve a Karn so I'll be able to, and I'll be able to kill this creature here. Kill Silver Lantern. Hope this is correct. Um, let me do this first. I have to fight all this. Raisin Borrower? So if he has the Thassa, he needs the other piece, which he can't cast till next turn, and he needs to have a damn good hand. Um, this is why I'm fighting this, because I think it's a Thassa, and they can play that same trick. As, i got to play faster here. Okay, um, that happens. I just got to jam a car in here to see if it works. I have five minutes on my clock. I gotta hurry up. So what do I get? I immediately get maybe like a um, liquid metal coating. 
or grindstone for that matter. I have all my grindstones in, so it could probably just be a coating. It's probably gonna be just be a coating. Um, he's got time on the stack now, so if I do land a Karn, um, the plays that can get me here are the Necromiba slash Thassa play again. So to stop that, I need to be able to um, Still in the stack, he's still chilling with it. One card. Uh, bad. Um, he has, but I think he has a pass here. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I didn't fucking... Oh, he had the swords too, so I didn't attack. Pretty good. Um, Kills my Karn. It's fine. Got it. I fuck up. Make sure I hit the other card. I forget. <laughs>
Sure. Is there anything I should give a fuck about in here? I should have waited with that fucking card. That was a mistake to play it. I have to get a grindstone here, and it was wrong to play that this soon. I should have waited a turn. That way there, um, I can copy, and I'm not going to um, I'm not gonna attack him here. It was wrong to play. So I can get... Um, a pithing needle here too. And do I, I don't have a needle out yet, right? Okay. Um, I guess I can do this on his upkeep. So copy, get needle. I'm doing his turn. Eat the vial, and then grind. Oh, I don't even have a fucking grindstone in. Um, let's take this. Oh, what a fucking match. Oh, Seppi breakfast. Second breakfast. What time? 1130. You think, you think, um, what's his name? The guy from the uh, Lord of the Rings would want second breakfast. That's a, that's a Schmeagle's not stealing his fucking food up on the cliff. Um, good game. Fucking sweet. Hit him up. I like it. Um, little couple play actions, uh, couple moves, J moves. Good games. All right. Let's take a little breather. Wow. Like in Sefi. Old Sefi. You can call him Sefi now. That's good. That was a game. Um, what happened? Um, I kept the fiver, two lands. I worked myself out of it. Uh, a couple dangerous moves there. It was kind of an unfortunate game one with him. I should have had it. Um, but again, there's so many nuances with that deck. Again, I encourage everybody to really know what the opponent's playing. Uh, due to the fact that it's not as straightforward as it seems to be. Maybe he was wrong to kill the fucking Cephalid. <laughs> Maybe I should have twin shot snipe with the other guy. I don't even know, dude. Someone's going to explain it to me. I'm going to have to want to listen to it. Sometimes it's just hard to hear it, um, and I should know better. But uh, very good games. I had a good time with that one. So um, let's get back in. Um, it's good to see it, too. I'm telling you guys, it's really fucking cool to see it. Um, Let's see what happens here. Take a little breather. <clears throat> um, 
right. Let me second here. I'm going to recuperate a little bit. Um, let's go. That was pretty sweet, huh? Fable? Fable's a busted magic card, bro. But I want to go back to that place because if I hadn't, if I had waited with Engineer, I could just copy the turn after. But then again, I would have been tight on mana. I could have done more calculations, but I think the way I felt about it was it was going to be okay. You know what I mean? Right, I'm going to play. Yeah, hands good, dude. Ugh. Now, because they have the only reason not to play out um, turn one welder here is because if I draw engineer, I'll be upset. But even if I draw engineer, what's my best target to do the most work on turn two? And am I going to activate welder that turn? Is it Icar Wellsprings? I'll be hitting a land source at that point, not like a free Mox Opal. Or is it like a Phyrexian Portal, which I don't have? Or is it in Snaring Bridge? Now, what matchups do I want Snaring Bridge at that I want it immediately? That would be, that would be, um, that would be Reanimator. Now, the higher upside of not playing out a Turn 1 Welder here and holding up a Red Blast could be to stop me from dying to combo. And I don't have a third land drop, so it's not going to be a turn two fable as of yet. But what will happen is I have the opportunity to play both Welder and Pyroblast this turn after. So I'm sequencing the play. The only problem is if I draw Engineer, it's going to be tough because I'll have a free will. But at that point, like I just explained to you, the turn right previous to this is what's my like exceptional target that I have to get into the graveyard. And that's in Staring Bridge and blah, 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 blah. So I'll shut up. And I'll just play out a mountain and I'll pass my turn. Forgive me. It's not always right to run out the welders early, but sometimes it is to apply pressure. Now, this could be something like Storm or some shit. So, reanimator. So, I got punished um, big time. And that's that. Um, <sighs> such a shame. I have to play out Goblin Welder here um, and not worry about things. So just picture if I had an active welder out right now, if it mattered. I was still could dead. So I should have held up fucking Pyroblast. I think it's fine. I'll have double hits next time. See if I can make it through a turn. If this is Doomsday, different story. So a good thing about getting the Grindstone out is, is it's if it's Doomsday, Grindstone is... Uh, Okay, I have a needle on my deck, so now I can work some shit. And it's good because I still would have rather held up last, but these are my. this is the thinking, and this is kind of like the chess game that I chose to decide to do, okay, and taking that move. And I know you guys know this, but at the same time now, I have an active welder, so if he starts to get crazy with, like, LEDs and shit and doesn't pay attention, I can use welder to my advantage. And that being said, that's an exceptional draw, and... I think I just play it because of echo and bullshit. And there's no need to um, really play out the second welder. If anything, it's going to be uh, the other. Uh, I think I just hold up double blast here and, and try to make up a creature and um, try to attack him to death. So hopefully it works to my advantage. Fail of Summer's a card.
I need him to play another Mox Opal right now. You exiled relay. You guys can't see this. And what's he gonna what's he gonna exile here? A veil of summer. Okay. And what's he got? LED, sure. Oh, uh, this is gonna be fucking good. Let's see what he does here. Burning Wish, close priority. I didn't have a place to use Mox Opal, or did I? Dark Ritual. So I use Welder here to get uh, Mox Opal on for LED. For Wish Claw Talisman. Still doesn't matter. I mean, I just lose it. I mean, I still gotta try. happened? Did I miss something? Oh, he's responding. Okay. I just lose. Right? He gets he gets tendrils, right? So his two dark rituals are gone, and he's gonna activate. And he's gonna discard his whole hand. Nothing I could have really done there. I hope I don't think I missed anything. You got a tendrils or or a. Uh, I mean, just say for shits and giggles, I get a painter. I can't really win. I can't. I get the tendrils. Okay, that's just game over. All right, good games. Stormy, storm, storm. He's targeting me, right? More than enough, right? Okay. <clears throat> All right, we know what's going on here. Um, I'll just start with the obvious. I like Ley Line because of Echo. I still think it's better than most cards. Mind Break Trap comes in. Um, I might be overboarding here. I'll bring in a Painter. I'll bring in Pithing Needle, Bridestone. And I'll cut some obvious cards here. I, I have 10 cuts to make. Um, Soul Guide, Shadow Spear, um, Ray's Apprentice, Fable and Airbreaker, Slow. It's a good card, but Slow. Twin Shot can go. I have current these, these can go. So Trap is clear. My, um, Leyline of the Void is good for uh, Echo. Uh, Karn is, fin is phenomenal. Um, my my goblins are good. My disruption, faster combo pieces. Do I have another grindstone? It's only three, right? Or do I have another one? It's 
I have one more card. I have two more cards to bring in. Um, I mean, I'll bring in Tormod's Crypt, I guess, for a free artifact. And I'll, I'll leave in a Fable, I guess. Leave in a Twin Shock and Nablum for two if he goes too low. Um... So I have all my painters. Icker Wellspring is kind of a weak card here too, but I have nothing else I want. Nothing else I want to do here. I gotta find a spot here. Um, now he's a Veil of Summer deck too, so. Worth a mulligan here. Um, I have to mulligan. I can't keep his hands. It's not doing it for me. Uh, I have to mull. So. Um, not too bad. I keep this <laughs> on the draw. It might just be worth it. Or if I if he discards me, I'm fucked. Either way, discard gets me. So I kind of have to keep this. I mean, what's what's the best that can happen? It's like uh, I'm gonna play a painter. I'll turn one with the lotus petal, and hopefully it's enough. Now, if it's not enough, what's my next five look like? Like mind break trap, playland avoid, pyroblast. Karn is my turn two play, so I have a turn two play. So I, I'm just gonna keep this. I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll get rid of um. I don't know, I'm here, it's fine. Now, if I name blue, it turns on as Veil of Summers, so it's kind of sketchy. But um, at least I have to fake this kid out. I have to take the risk of fucking getting veiled to fake this kid out. Okay. So that's the only play I have here. I'm going to name blue fast and see what happens. And see what happens here.
So if it's echo slash LED, it's kind of a tough beat, but whatever. I'm exactly 18. Oh, what a beat. Good game. Brutal. Fuck. Good games. <laughs> GG's. All right. Well played. A lot of credit there. Um, so that's exactly 18. Decided to take the two damage, which I'm not nervous about. So that's good games. Um, so it's 18 damage. Tendrils me. And exactly enough. Played very well. Zero cards in the hand. Turn one kills. Awesome. That's what Legacy is about. Uh, I get a lot of respect for this deck. Sometimes I, I cry about certain decks that just, you know, as far as Legacy goes. And, but I get a lot of respect for this deck. And this is a staple, in my opinion. And it's just a great display of magic at, at a Legacy, at a very competitive Legacy level. So great games. Welcome to the... No oh, I was just saying that. I was just saying that. Um... on my channel. I guess you can watch it. Jeez. Good luck. Hey, right, well, if you watch the video, good fucking game. I was just saying um, the non-iteration world. Yeah, so um Basically, I don't mind iteration as a card. I think expressive iteration is a completely fine card in Magic. I really do. I think it's basically it comes down to Dragon's Race Channeler in um, Legacy in that deck particularly. Um, it just gives too much advantage to Delver. I don't even mind Murktide Region, maybe because I, I play Pyroblast all the time, but um, I think there's other cards to be considered um, in the format that need to uh, be... Um, looked at in a certain way. I just hope that they consider um, Legacy as a format, and I knew they do, but legit moving forward in the card creations and things like that. All right, man. Good luck. Good job, Chase Scorpion. Well played, and we'll hop in the next one. So up in the last match, see what we can find. Can hit me up with the tendrils. I'm okay with it. I'm a tendril boy. I can get hit with the tendrils. All right, let's see what's up. Um, he played well. He didn't. He didn't even fucking. He went right through the pyroblast. It, I had the. I had the lotus petal up, and it was. It was no. It was a no go. Kid said, "I'm gonna kill you right now." So, good game. Um, so I mean, that was like my only play. Um, I mean, if I had mind break trap, I could have probably won there. I think he read me pretty well. I think it was the way I was playing. I was like, okay. Okay, okay, pause for five seconds. Okay, you translate information that way. Whenever you're like playing magic, you know that when you're playing in paper, especially, you know, the kids, whenever the kids' hands start to shake, I, I shake too. If I'm playing and my hand's shaking, you know what I mean? But like, if you're starting to get nervous and they sense that, they know what's going on, you know? But it's the same with MTGO. It's, you can kind of get a sense of who's behind the screen and what's going on. But that was, that was fine. I'm fine with that loss. I'm fine with that. And that's a turn one that's a turn one loss I have no problem losing to. You know what I mean? Because it's a great suite of magic cards. It really is. Um Storm's a great mechanic. It's um other stuff that, you know, finds its way in a legacy and they're good cards, but it's just a different way to play. All right, so hop in. Don't know. Uh be gonna play, please. See what happens. I'll keep this. Uh, he's saying hi. You guys see him? Hey, good luck. Talk to you. What's up? Um, totally fine hand. Um, I'll keep it. So let me uh, see what's up here. I think I just start with a basic here and not do anything. Play around Wastelands.
I rarely do it this way, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, in blue. And because I have another paint there and I can hold up last. It still might, it still might blow up in my face here, but I, I'm just going to run out the cards and see what happens. Sometimes you get to run the cards. I wonder how many times I've played the deck and it's just like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to die anyway. It's good. <laughs> Which are you going after? Oh, you got a bolt? Grixis? I'm down. Let's play magic. I was wondering, was it going to be a, um, what do you, you know, this is going to be a fine game here. I think that, uh, Versus Saga is a good card here. Strixie. Um, so I got to kind of concentrate here. So the card that gets me the most here is that enchantment. I wonder if he plays it. So I can kind of go hard in the combo here, or I can make creatures. So that happens. Um, the problem is Strix. Thoughtsea sucks. Um, I don't, I don't know what he has. Um, he's got to have more removal. So on turn three, what's he do? I can't really attack much. I just, um, I don't feel like I'm going to win this game already, to be honest with you. I can feel it. I just know how these games work. Um, I'll pass. <clears throat> This is kind of one of those games where I wish I had like Misha's workshop desk in this desk in this deck. Um, kind of give him a chance not to. Uh... This is a tough sequence right now. I can feel it just because the sequencing is so good for him um, with Grixis. And Grixis isn't a bad matchup. It's just like this. Um, He plays a land. Okay, so no land drop. He's building a wall, um, which is good. But this gives me a free turn to kind of accumulate a few things, I guess. I'm just talking out loud. Um, six cards. I probably won't go heavy in the combo here. And so Colgan's command kills me really bad. I'm going to have to still um, play around that card or just play into that card, I guess. I have double blast, so fuck it. I need to play, um. Chase the mind Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know. When guys win like that too, it's like, oh, two card combo, you win. But I, I, you know, I love this deck, so I play it. So, but I, I hear you playing. I mean, I win two cards. I had double blast. It was good. All right. It's pain. Sometimes it happens that way. I don't feel satisfied, but I'm happy a little bit. Um, let me see what I want to do here. We got Grixis. Good deck. Um, Fury's always been fine against Grixis. I know it might have seemed that way, but it is. I'm going to bring it in. Bridge is just terrible, but sometimes that guy, the enchantment when it flips, it can be a pain in the balls. I don't really like that. Um, I would imagine Karn's a really good card here to be able to um, stick some uh, prison pieces. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep everything the way it is. Maybe cut a Lotus Petal um, and maybe Bridge here. And I could bring in like another painter and leave a stone in the side 
Um, and it's, you gotta be careful running out stone to decay commands. And I mean, sudden edict is a card here. It gets us, um, I'm mitigating against meltdown coming in. So that's good. Um, but I still need fast mana. Um, let's look at the gate, the deck. Shadow Spirit probably kept this card. I'm gonna draw it too. Um, Pithy Needle could be a card. Ugh. I'll bring in Pithy Needle. I can name Narset. Um, it's better than anything else. I mean, Shadow Spirit is just running, you're running into meltdowns and baleful stricks. Just not worth it for me. It's got trample, but I want to be able to wish for cards with Karn. And this is about where I want to be. So let's see if I can put it together. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is a very good card in this game. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is a very good card in this game. Um, Saga is kind of mediocre. Um, this hand's going to be, have to be kept and it's feasible except for thought sees or whatever. Um, so we have to remember what the sequencing is for a guy like this. Now, what kind of hand did he keep? Or the player, I, you know, respect. What kind of hand did he keep? Did he keep a hand that has one land or two land? He wants to cast that Baleful Strix to find that land. You know what I mean? What kind of cards am I going to hit here? What? So I'm telling you guys, you have to get in these guys, like, Grixis people's heads or, or Delver players. Where is their weakness right now? What happened? What's going on? How am I going to play this game? Not only just stuff my stuff out there and play in a savvy way as, as far as like removal and kind of baiting stuff up, but what's going on with him? You know what I mean? Let's talk about you. You know what I mean? Let's, you know, let's, let's have a chat. I want to know. I want to know more about what's going on except for that. You know what I mean? So turn two is like usually baleful stricks. Um, Things of that nature. So let me just build my board slower. Um, this way here, next turn, I can play out, you know, Urza's Saga. If I draw Fable, the Mirror Breaker, I can play it on turn two. Play a little slower. Let's see what he does. Looks like a um, Strixie Doodle, which I might counter, but I probably won't because I have, you know, Fury. A Null Rod. That's pretty good. I forgot about that card, and that's fine. Now what you can do here is you can also Pyroblast that card. And you can also make that a creature through Karn. So you can also hit that with a Fury if you need to. Um, that's one of the best draws in the deck. Um, I mean, I just played Urza Saga here. So I'm making creatures. And then next turn I can, you know, play, I can play Ancient Tomb if this is going to be like a Narset or something, or even like, a, if this is an Expressive, I will counter an Expressive. A Tot Seize. If you take my Pyroblast maybe, or my Fury, okay. And what? Okay. So we might have Meltdown. You might have... I'll make Creatures. And Needle. Needle's a static ability. I can put a Grindstone on the board. Just kind of have it sit there. Um, I'll corner this card. Probably looking for that fourth land. I don't want to be able to stick some my way. Or he's got the lands. And it kind of goes with the reading. So I don't want to say too much because the game's far from over. But it's decisions like that that kind of turn the tides of the games. You know what I mean? Like with decks like this. Because now he's got three cards. Doesn't have a blocker. Could have cards like Meltdown. You know, now I'm kind of putting pressure on him. You know what I mean? Like the counter spell there. Sometimes it's right to counter spell kind of cards like that, whereas a lot of times I've let them go, and that's fine. Um, but it is what it is. Here I can play out Goblin Welder plus, uh, and what can I get here? I could just needle something. If I have a needle in my deck, I do. I might just name the, um, I mean, Soul Guy, can't, I can't use any of these cards except for needle. I'll name Bloodstained Mire. hate to do it, but it's, it's a card. It would have been Narset, but, you know, it could be Yachi, but I can attack Yachi. Um, it is so <laughs> sorry. And maybe I should have played out Great Furnace there. It is cold. I apologize. I really do because it was probably wrong. It was probably not the best move to do that, but we'll see. So I should have played out Great Furnace there only because it gets me out of bolt range here. But that being said, um, I want to be able to make creatures down the road here, playing around Meltdown a little bit. So, should I play around the enchantment? I probably should. Um, not play out Goblin Welder. It's one or less, right? 
Ja, so viel Spaß. Und the meltdown? That's a meltdown. We got me with that. Uh, yep. So that's why I didn't play out my Fernacci, and he has that Meyer to him. So what's he looking at? A Snapcaster Mage? And does he have cards like, um, must have a, uh, a Painta? So I'm going to get a Soul Guard Lantern here and hit that Meltdown. See if he fetches in response. He might. And Dress Down, or what's he got? K Command? That's pretty good. So he hits this, and this makes me discard. No, that's just two modes. So it's K Command, return what? Strix? So I think you do this now. That's fine. Yep. One card, so he can get the meltdown back on top. Let me see if he has that card in his deck. Ain't that? I'll make a creature. So he's fetching here. Okay. And let me see if he gets that. It's not. Okay, so I still think it's good to get a um, Delio. Let's see if he has another meltdown. Um, so this is why this is why Soul Guide Lantern is pretty damn good here. I just think it's going to be a meltdown, and I can play out a painter. Interrupt. Oh, I can't. I can play around. I mean, black and go. Let's see what he has. Oh, he's got K Command. So it's only killing one thing here, right? Top deck. I can't activate Soul Guide Lantern because now Rod's in play. So you have to kill this thing and make me discard maybe or return Strix to your hand. I think you return Strix to your hand. You kill an artifact, you turn Strix, right? Why didn't he cast Culligan's command? Did something happen? I don't understand. Did I miss something? I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, did you miss something? I'll ask him at the end of the game. Um, I'll play a painter and get meltdown and get mad. <laughs> In black again, come in. Did I miss something with that? Uh, maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. Yeah, Fable on that deck is pretty cool.
like he's just um be fading out. I don't know if he's just not playing for some reason. I don't know. Confusing, but anyway. Two snap away too? And a blue elemental blast. Yeah, misclick also misclick blockers. Dang, bro. <laughs> Game with the cheese. The games, guys. Too bad. Um All right, there you have it. A 4-1, not bad. I tried. I couldn't beat Storm. He was good. Um, uh, good player. Let me go back to the game, if I may. Um, he misclicked. Um, good luck. All right. There you have it, guys. Um, nice league. Like I said, let's go back. Uh, he misclicked. Could have K command my artifact. Would have been a different game at that point, and he misclicked again, so it was kind of freaky. But anyway, good games. Good to show the deck in a different nature with Karn. I think it's still a contender. Um, I miss, you know, depends. The velocity of Lightning Bolt, the velocity of Simeon Spirit Guide, the velocity of um, cards like Magus the Moon, things of that nature. It's more of a, um, I think it's more of a, another path to go, which is still very, it's very good, but you know, with Karn and things like that, you, you're kind of using cards like Shadow Spirit, Snaring Bridge. Um, you're using different elements of the game. I would switch up one of the cards for a uh, Friction Dragon Engine for sure. But um, that being said, I had a good time. Hope you guys are doing well. A lot of people doing very well with Painter right now. It's excellent. Keep up uh, putting up results. And um, it's just, it's awesome to see. And everybody's uh, having fun with it. I like to have fun too. And, uh, you know, and it's good to see it. So looking forward to the future. Love you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Be safe, calm, cool, and collected. You know what I mean? Get a good read. And I'll catch you guys next time.